Zipper Liquids allows you to adjust many liquid parameters. In this video, we will discuss gravity, viscosity, color, metalness, and many other options. Let's dive in. The simulation speed setting changes the speed of the liquid in the simulation. You can use this parameter to slow the water flow or to make it more dynamic. You can adjust the simulation speed in the Zipper Liquids component. The render downscale parameter allows you to change the render scale factor from 0.2 to 0.99. It might also help to optimize the simulation. A lower render scale corresponds to better performance, but worse visuals. You can enable this parameter in the Zipper Liquid simulation. The maximum particle count influences the maximum number of particles that can appear in the simulation. It directly corresponds to the maximum volume of liquid you can have in the simulation. Increasing this parameter will increase RAM usage. In the render mode, you can choose between the mesh and the particle render. Depending on your choice, the appearance of the simulation will be different. The mesh render is the recommended choice for most use cases, while the particle render is useful when you need to create small sprays. Note that the mesh and particle render have different material settings. In the material component, you can change the color, reflection color, and emissive color of the simulation. Play with it to get the desired result. The metalness parameter defines how the metallic liquid surface appears. Adjust it if you want to achieve different fluid behavior with light reflection. Increasing this parameter will result in a more reflective liquid. The scattering amount defines how much light gets scattered inside the liquid. Using this parameter, you can make the liquid muddier and so less transparent. The absorption amount can change how much light the liquid absorbs. It can reduce the amount of light that goes through the liquid, making it less transparent. Adjust this parameter to emphasize the color of the liquid. The fluid surface blur influences the smoothness of the liquid. You may change it to give your liquid surface some level of detail, or to make it smooth. Using the fluid surface blur, you can, for example, create ripples on the water surface. Zipper Liquids also has gravity settings. You can set the gravity that affects your liquid separately from your scene's gravity. You can also simulate liquid in zero gravity, or change it in runtime. Viscosity defines how viscous the liquid is. Usually this parameter is not very noticeable in the simulation, but it comes in handy when adjusting how the liquid behaves on the surface. Another parameter is the surface tension of the liquid. It can be useful in zero-gravity cases. Note that the surface tension can be negative. More use cases will be shown in the following videos.